yeah, I'd like to give it to the person uh, who I not only with uh, yeah, amongst the board of judges, but personally as well, uh, who I think is really passionate about vlogging, and I want to give it to this person. Uh, yon, uh, the winner is. Uh, Wait. Let me just stop you right there. I made milk tea. <sighs> Yummy. It came from my friend who gave me a pasalubong all the way from Taiwan. It's really yummy. Anyways, hey guys, what is up? Joe here, back at again with another video. Just a disclaimer, this is not my usual travel, food trip, and technology videos. This is gonna be a very informal video and I'm announcing that I'm putting up a different segment in my channel. Well, you can say I've been getting a lot of milestones and events in my life that I wanna document them and put them in a more personal tone. I guess this is my way of evolving as a creator because I'm seeing a different opportunity and a different approach in covering these types of milestones in my life. And I want it to be much more personal, less formal, and I want it to have a different spin, a different style when I'm creating these types of videos. Having said that, I will now call it Joe's Chronicles. This is a segment in my channel that will talk more about my life, my milestone, and I decided I will not post them in Facebook. It's because I have a different community when I'm posting my videos in Facebook. I'm seeing that it's actually much more engaging if I get um, a community in YouTube. Like I feel like people can engage with me more personally in YouTube. I'll still be posting these informative videos both in Facebook and in YouTube, but these personal vlogs, Joe's Chronicles, will only be posted in my YouTube channel. So if you want to get to know me more, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Having said that, let me talk about a milestone that happened to me last week. I'm here at the Philippine Travel and Lifestyle Festival 2019 and I'm invited by AirTrap to check out the event. I'm also one of the nominees for the Travel Vloggers Awards. So let's check it out. The Travel Vloggers Award is happening right now. I'm with Sir Ace. I invited Newt, John, Gab, and Marco. They're my more support for this event. And good luck to everyone who joined this contest. So may the best vlogger win. Let me give you a rundown of what happened during awarding. I got nominated numerous times and I got an award for the category of nature and mountains for my how to explore Sagada video. Then I was called out for the second time for a special award called the DIY Vlog Award for my how to explore La Union video. Joanna Lynn Serrano, how to explore La Union. Yeah. I appreciate it by Joanna, uh, precisely because when she travel, she has a lot of information on how to get to that place, what she experienced. So, I want to travel as a kid, so I want to be able to get to that So, that's why we have a content. That's why we have a takeaway from the videos that we have watched. And it didn't stop there. Because the judges and the host is now announcing the winner for the major prize. An all-expense-paid trip to an international Asian country. Yeah, I'd like to give it to the person uh, who I not only with uh, yeah, amongst the board of judges, but personally as well, uh, who I think is really passionate about vlogging, and I want to give it to this person. Uh, yon, uh, the winner is uh, Joanna Linsaran. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
Honestly, guys, I never expected to win that contest. I was really nervous of how the contest will turn out because I'm competing against really good video makers. Very cinematic, very hands down in their travel videos. And actually, these competitors really inspire me to even step up my videos. And it was really a big overwhelming feeling to not only win one award, but two awards and one major prize. So it was... Uh, it's crazy. I'm just really thankful with how my vlogging career has been going towards us. I guess for me, whenever I make videos, I really just think about the content and really just focus on myself. And not focus on the numbers, don't focus on the subscribers, don't even focus on the number of views that I'm getting per video because for me, Looking at the numbers is a big distraction and I don't want to have that mindset whenever I'm making videos. Especially you guys, don't ever think about the numbers. Always think about how can you make your videos better. I'm really thankful because I have people who morally support what I do. My family for supporting me to travel in places even when I'm doing backpacking style. My friends who have been morally supporting me since day one. And I'm really grateful to even meet new friends along the way and collab with them through vlogging. Anyways guys, I guess this ends my first video about Joe's Chronicles. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I do hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will not post it to Facebook. But I will keep you guys updated on my next one in my Facebook channel and Instagram. So please also follow that if you prefer to do so as well. Alright? This is Joe Sarayana signing out and I'll see you in my next video. See you guys.